to describe how reporting grades can be viewed even in other applications and then create an organization unit distribution report. And finally, see how we can upload resources to our DHIS2 systems. So the reports app uh, consists of five modules, okay? It consists of a standard report, a data set report, a reporting grade summary, organization unit distribution report, and then the resources module. We are going to look at each of them in detail and then uh, finally have a demo of how we can put them to use. So what are standard reports? Standard reports are customized reports following a specific layout. So these standard reports, it, it requires uh, programming knowledge to create. So they're usually created using uh, tools like Jasper reports. The, some of them are created in HTML and uh, they follow a specific layout, okay? And then we have a data set report. So this data set report creates a summary output of, your data, of the data set values. And you'll find that it comes out in the exact same format that, uh, that a data set appears on the data entry side of DHIS2. So you can see here, we have a report from the reports app. This is the data set report. You can see vaccinations, women of childbearing age, and then you have your vaccine, pregnant, other total, and the numbers. So this appears in the exact same way that uh, that the that the data set appears on the data entry app of DHIS2. However, within the, the data set report, we can be able to aggregate and pull out numbers for a higher level, as opposed to the level at which the data was captured. Okay. So that is uh, what the data set report is about. And then we have the reporting grade summary. Okay, I am sure most of us have made use of this reporting grade summary. The reporting grade summary uh, is able to show us, um, reporting grade summary is able to show us the complete data set completeness and timeliness based on what was set in the system. Okay, so it's able to show us uh, how many reports were submitted and how many were expected to be received. And then it shows us the reporting grade. And then it can also show us how many were actually submitted on time and how many were submitted late, okay? So we are able to also pull these rates in other apps. We're going to see how we can also pull them out using data visualizer. But uh, this is what a reporting grade summary looks like. So you can see that you have uh, different organization units here. The first one is game. Uh, the actual report submitted was 17 and they expected 20 reports from this organization unit and it brought it to a reporting rate of 85%. And all of the 17 were actually submitted on time. So their reporting rate on time is also 85%, okay? So uh, that is what a reporting rate looks like. It calculates the number of actual reports submitted, okay? and then uh, pulls out the number of expected reports, the number of expected reports from a particular organization unit, and then calculates the reporting group. Yeah, so this is a, a chart that is also able to show us the reporting rates, okay? So we're going to look at all this in detail as we do the demo. Then we have the organization unit distribution report. So the organization unit distribution report helps us to gain insight into how the organization unit groups and group sets are structured. What does this mean? We're able to see how many organization units belong to a particular organization unit group, okay? Uh, with the images here, you can see that in this table, we're able to see that in animal region, we have 35 rural organization units. We have 29 peri-urban and 50 urban. So we're able to see the distribution of the different organization units within an organization unit group state, okay? And it also allows you to generate a chart that displays the same, okay? Then we have uh, resources. So we are able to upload various resources 
to be used in the system. What do we mean by resources? You might want to have some reference materials in the system. You might want to have maybe some SOPs uploaded that users can access. You might want to have external links there, instruction guidelines. So we are able to upload all these in the system and users are able to access them. We're going to look at this also in, uh, in more detail, okay? So that is the theory of the reports app. Uh, it is composed of the standard report, the data set report, reporting grid summary, uh, the resources and the organization unit distribution reports. So those are the five modules that we're going to, the four, we're going to look at the four, since we say the standard report requires more programming knowledge. So we're going to look at the four during the course of this session. So I'm going to go back to uh, We need to go back to our system and uh, access our reports app, okay? So to access the reports app, we go to our app tray in the top right-hand corner, sorry. We go to the app tray in the top right-hand corner and go to reports, okay? We go to the reports app. So you see that within the reports app, we have our different modules here. We have our standard report, which we said uh, requires a bit of programming knowledge in order to make use of. And then we have our data set report, which, say, which we said is able to show us um, the numbers for a particular data set and is able to aggregate them. Uh, maybe you want the numbers for uh, uh, maybe a higher level organization unit than where the data was captured. And it, is, it, it represents data in the exact uh, layout that the data set appears in the data entry app. Then we have the reporting rate summary, which shows us uh, the completeness and timeliness of data. Okay, it shows that it's able to show us how many uh, organization units have submitted, sorry, how many reports have been submitted, how many have been submitted on time. And then uh, we have the resources where we can upload uh, different resources that we need our users to access. And finally, the organization distribution report, which shows us uh, the number of organization units that belong to the, the different uh, group sets and their groups, okay? So our starting point is going to be the data set report. I'm going to click on the data set report. Okay, and we are going to try to generate a data set report for the immunization data set for bad district uh, in March 2021. Okay, the first thing we select is the organization unit. Okay, you can see here we have report organization units. So we're going to select our bad district, which is an animal region. So we'll expand animal region. We select bad district, okay? And then we said we're interested in the immunization data set. So we're going to select data set and we pick out immunization, okay? And then we said we want March 2021. So we'll select monthly as our report period. We pick our year as 2021 and month as March, okay? And then we get reports, okay? So you can see here that you have this report for bad district, okay? You have this report for bad districts in March uh, 2021 for immunization. Eh? And you can see that the numbers have been aggregated because maybe this data is captured at a facility level. So it's going to aggregate the numbers to district level to get the numbers for the district. And the report will appear exactly how it appears on the data entry side, okay? And you, you might choose to download this report. You can download it either in Excel or as a PDF, okay? 
you can either down we have the download buttons at the top there you can either download as excel or download as pdf okay so if i click download as pdf it's going to download it for me the data set report and there it is i'm able to have my report in pdf the same as download as excel it will download it in excel okay the other way you can download the data set report you might want to filter based on a particular organization unit group okay and it allows for this and how do we do this you see that we had selected bad district maybe i want to see the numbers for all the public facilities in uh animal region okay maybe i want to see the numbers for all the public facilities in animal region so at the bottom i will select my animal region okay you see that now that i've selected animal region it has deselected bad district so you only select one organization unit at a time eh? you see if i select animal region it's going to deselect bad district so i want to pick numbers for the public public facilities so i'm going to go to the show more options you see we have that blue show more options you click show more options okay then you have ownership you can select public okay so you want the publicly owned facilities in animal region for, the, for immunization march 2021 and i click get report so you see that now it's going to show me the numbers for the publicly owned facilities in animal region okay and there you have your reports okay yeah so that is how the data set report works you see that it appears the exact same way it appears on the data entry side and still you can go ahead to download okay do you have any questions on data set reports? Any questions on data set reports or we are comfortable with them? Okay. I will take the silence to mean that we are comfortable. I hope it doesn't mean that we are confused. So um, we are going to move on to the reporting grade summary reporting grade summary we can select it on the left side of the page reporting grade summary i'm sure many of us have made use of this in order to know which facilities are reporting which ones are not reporting how many are able to submit their reports on time so that is how we use our reporting grade summary okay so in the reporting grade summary just like we did for the data set report the first thing we select is the organization unit, okay? The organization unit. And uh, I am going to select dog district. So I'll expand my animal region. I select dog district, okay? And then I still select my immunization data set. But this time I want the whole year 2021. So I'll select yearly and select 20. 21 okay and then i select get report okay so there i have my reporting grade summary for 2021 for dog district okay for the whole year okay so i can see there is hot dog primary health center that uh, submitted 10 uh, reports, actual reports for immunization and 12 reports were expected. So their reporting rate is 83%, okay? So you see that for most of the facilities, 10 reports were expected for the year, okay? And they, they give us the entire number for the entire dog district where we expected 170 reports sorry, where 170 reports were submitted and 240 were expected. So the reporting rate for the entire year was 70%, okay? So you're able to see the, the reporting, the reporting rates for the different organization units using your reporting rate summary, okay? So you'll find that maybe if you have a, a, a report that is submitted on a, month, on a monthly basis and it's, uh, 
you'll find that it's submitted on a monthly basis per facility. So you'll find if you select a year, it is going to aggregate the, the expected reports. That's why you see here, there are 12 reports. This immunization report is submitted monthly, it's expected to be submitted on a monthly basis, okay, per facility. So you see that for each facility, the expected reports are 12, okay? There are 12 and most of the facilities submitted 10 and some of them even submitted none at all. So it, it uh, aggregates depending on the period, okay? However, important to note, if it is a report that is submitted on a monthly basis, there's no way you can expect to see the reporting rate on a weekly basis because that report is submitted monthly. So it, it, it aggregates, but uh, may not be able to disaggregate to a lower period than what it's uh, what is captured the period that it, the report is really captured. However, when you're using uh, yeah, so you can also download this reporting rate summary as Excel or as CSV. You might want to have it on your computer, so you can always download it as Excel or CSV. Okay. However, important to note is that while you're using the reporting rate summary, you're not able to compare maybe different organization units, because you see you can only select one organization unit at a time, and you're not able to compare different periods because you only select one period at a time. Are we together? Okay. For example, you see here immunization where 12 reports were expected and only 10 were submitted. It's not possible for you to get um, to know which months, unless you go monthly one by one, but to know which months reports were not submitted within the reporting rate summary uh, module, it's not possible to do that. However, we can do that within other apps like the data visualizer app. So we are going to see how we can pull out these reporting rates using the data visualizer app, okay? So I'm going to go to uh, data visualizer That is my data visualizer. I'm going to refresh to reopen it. Okay, and I'm going to open the EPI completeness 2021 months uh, report. Eh? Sorry, go to file, I go to open, I search for EPI completeness 2021 months. And there you see, the reporting rates. So here you're able to see the reporting rates across the different months of the year 2021. You can see where they dropped, okay, and where they were high. So with, with the visualizer, you're able to compare reporting rates over a given period, okay? So if I go to the data, I see what was selected there, okay? you see that what was selected is immunization reporting rates. And how did we get this item? Here under our data types, we have a data type that is data sets, okay? And when you get to data sets, you see that for every data set, you're able to get the reporting rate, reporting rate on time, actual reports, actual report on time, expected reports. It is the same for every data set, okay? So our table, uh, on our chart, we're going to add the HIV monthly reporting rates, okay? And your updates. So you can see that within Visualizer, unlike the reporting rate summary, within Visualizer, we're able to also compare the reporting rates for two different data sets. So you can see the reporting rates for immunization and the reporting rates for HIV monthly, okay? And you see that the trend is almost the same. So you can ask yourself what happened within the month of May and within the month of September where there were drops. You can try to dig deeper and find out what happened within those months that caused the drop in reporting because both immunization and HIV monthly reporting rates dropped. So that means that maybe there were some significant events within those months, okay? So we've seen that with the data visualizer, we are able to see the reporting rates uh, uh, 
uh, compare the different periods and also compare different data sets. And you can even compare, depending on the chart you've created, you can even compare different organization units and their reporting rates. And then also you can choose to save this chart if you want to have it on your dashboard. Maybe you want to have it on your dashboard to continually monitor reporting rates. You can save this chart and add it to your dashboard, okay? Um, so that is it for reporting rates. Do we have any questions on reporting rates? Yeah. 